All right, here we go. Starting off with the honeycomb unit. We have a one by two sheet of paper, meaning uh, the side is half as long as this, or the side is twice as long as this. It's uh, basically half a square. So what you want to do with this is uh, first you want to fold it in half like this. Like that. And you have it like that. You want to fold you want to fold it like this. Fold it this side to the center. Like that. And then the same with the other side. Make your crease is nice and sharp. And then when you open it up, you have uh, you folded the, the paper into four sections. One, two, three, four. And now what you want to do is close this section like that and close this section like that. So now you got this, the flaps like that. Turn it sideways, you have it like that. And what you want to do is fold this, so fold this side so it's right up against that, that side, like that. The corner is folded to midway. Right there. It looks like that. Okay. You basically folded that. Now what you want to do is you want to take this edge, this entire edge, and you want to fold it to this edge right here, the one that we just created. So, like that. We're going to take it like that and fold it from the corner all the way up. Just like that. So it was like this and we folded this edge to this edge and then it was like that. We have that. Alright, so then you want to flip it the other way like that. What you want to do now is fold this edge to this edge, right there. So it's going to look like this. Like that. This is going to be a guiding edge, so uh, that's, that's why it's just so small like that. Right there. So now what you want to do is you want to fold this edge to this edge. Like that. Of course, you could have also just taken this entire side and folded just like that all the way up there. But then sometimes it slips out and it, it like folds like that or like it folds imprecisely basically. And that's why you fold it before. It also helps as a guiding edge. Now you want to take this this edge and fold it up just like that. Follow this. Now we have that, like that, and that. Now what you want to do is unfold it, just like that, all the way. <clears throat> Make sure it looks just like that with with the crease there and there. And then now what you want to do is you want to take this, you want to fold it like that. You want to fold this down. You want to fold this down at the same time like that. You want to fold this in, and you're going to fold it like that. Like that. So what you did, take that, and you fold this down, like that, and you fold this in. It should fall right into place. You want to do that, you want to do the same thing with the other side. You fold this in, you fold this, right there, so that, just along those, those creases, just like that. And you fold them together simultaneously. Fold that, and then, like that. Put, the, put these flaps underneath. Like that. So now you have this shape right here, which you want. Now you wanna, yeah, you, you have the open side like this. Close that up. You wanna fold right across that the where these two edges meet, right there. You wanna fold it up like that. Just 
So then, you're gonna take, you're gonna take one of these edges, or one of these, uh, these side, sides and fold it. So it's like that. Fold it, fold using uh, this as an, as a guiding edge. So you're gonna, you're gonna fold it, following that edge. Like that, and the same thing for the other one. Fold like that. Just like that. Now, what you want to do? You want to turn it like this, and you you want to fold these flaps or these these small flaps down, following that edge right there. And that is your finished honeycomb unit. And it's one unit. There we go. You can open it up just like that. And I have uh, two more over here. I'll show you how to join them. These ones are already joined. I'll take them apart. So basically, you have this opening right here. Which, this opening right there. And then here's another one. Take this and you slip it into this. You take the flap and slip it up into the opening, just like that. You might have to kind of open it up like that and slide it in, just like that, and then fold, just like that. And then the third one, open up the the flap on the side, just like that. There we go. You get it into your pocket and slip it in. Oh, that was upside down. Alright, slip it in just like that. And then, same with this side. Open up the pocket and slip this in. Shouldn't be that hard. There we go. So that is how you join them. And with this shape or this uh, this this piece, you can get a variety of origami made. For example, I have I have this one right here. This one is 30 pieces. It's in a icosahedron, like that. And then there's also this one, which is um, which I made with by inverting, or it's, just, it's like basically the inside out of this. This is also 30 pieces. And then there's uh, there's this. It's called uh, a buckyball. And then there's one that I posted on DeviantArt. It's uh, this. It's uh, I called it like a, an origami carbon structure. Nano, uh, origami carbon nanostructure pill or something like that. And I wanted to go over how to make this. So this right here, I'll, I'll start with this first. So this uh, this requires 90 pieces, and as you can see, it has pentagons and hexagons. So basically, you make a pentagon out of the the honeycomb units, and then surround that pentagon by hexagons. And then you see this piece here that links to another pentagon. You, you, you basically continue that, that pentagon hexagon pattern. So it's like three pentagons and then like a hexagon in between. And then like three pentagons. Or you have like the hexagon, 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 pentagon, 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 and, and a hexagon in the middle. And then for the, the carbon structure pill, or the, or the, the, the carbon pill structure that I made. I basically took this and I stretched it out, kind of. First thing I did was um, I found like the halfway point of this. Halfway point, um, what I did, I found one pentagon and then I found uh, the pentagon that was directly across it on the other side, so like that. 
like that, right? So, and then I found like a middle point for the ball. It's not gonna be a straight line, it's kinda like zigzaggy. It's, it's this line right here, right here. A zigzag right there. It's like a, like that. There's like a, a pentagon, hexagon, and there's like a pentagon, hexagon. So it's just like that line down the middle, right there. And then I made like half the ball, I would, but just up to that line using that piece so it's like it's gonna be more than 45 pieces because it's, it's just a little bit more than half the ball right there so I made a ball I made half this ball using um using more than a little more than 45 pieces and then what I did was when I had half the ball made instead of having a hex uh, a pentagon I made I just made hexagons all the way around. So having the, the pentagon in there, it it gives it that, that bent shape. And if you if you um if you use all hexagons, it just makes it a flat sheet kind of. So in, instead of like that pentagon right there, it was a hexagon. So it was a hexagon, hexagon, hexagon. And as soon as you start start making all the hexagons, it starts to straighten out. It doesn't bend. So like that. So. <clears throat> So right here I have like half the ball. It was like right there. Instead of like instead instead of the, the pentagon it would have been right here. It's all hexagons. It's all hexagons. Then I just I just uh ended up sealing the other half with like the another half of a ball, basically. This took this has like uh I think it has over two hundred pieces. Um it took about a week, but I, I don't know, I just I I was working on it on and off. It wasn't that hard. It was relatively simple. Kind of a cool thing. Um, hope you enjoy making this. The fizz unit, uh, pentagon, hexagon, zigzag unit. Here we go. You need a square sheet of paper, any size. And we're gonna start off by folding this in half. Now we have it in half and we want to fold it in fourths. Now it's in fourths. What we want to do now is take one of these uh, these corners. We're going to take this edge and we want to fold it to this edge. Let's zoom in. Um, it doesn't matter if you're holding it open or if, if this side is up or this side is up. It it doesn't really matter. So you want you want to take this and fold it like this. Like that, and then you're gonna fold this down like this, like this, and right up to the edge. So so far it looks like this, and then you what you want to do is fold this up, but um, along this this edge back here, like that, and so fold fold this. Pull this up, like that. And then you have this. You want to fold this side down, like like this. This edge, this edge right here, against, or up to this edge. Like so. Just like that, and then turn it over. You want to fold this down. And there we go, that's our finished fizz unit. It's quite simple really. Now I'll show you how to join the fizz units. We got two over here. Alright. So first you can uh, you can take one of these, another one of these, and just open this up right here like this. Like that. 
and slip it, slip the other piece in like so. Just like there we go. And then uh, the same thing the other way. Just open, just slip it in. Like so, there we go. And then open this side up. And then finish the corner. Might be a little hard at first, but eventually you'll you'll get it. So there we go, it's uh it's completely together. It's like that. Also. I wanted to show you something else. Since there's uh there was three how we have three edges on one side like that and then only two on the other side like that. It sometimes uh it is difficult to join these pieces. Let me see if I can get it. All right, so here we want to join a piece to this side and we have three of these layers right here. What I do is I generally slip it into the, the top layer and it just it fits I guess. If you want you can slip it into the bottom layer, it shouldn't really matter. And there, there is the, the fizz unit. What you can do with this is um, basically you can make a, make a ball with 30 pieces. Uh, here's an example. 30 piece uh, fizz ball. Also on a costahedron. Um, you can make a make bucky balls just like this one. This one's uh, with a with a honey honeycomb struct or honeycomb unit. Basically, you can make any shape you want with this that you can with the honeycomb unit. And uh, yeah, there's the there's the fizz unit.